now since I'm trying to make everything well right. I'm going to go ahead and make it so I can see too. Change the lens on my helmet. I can see! Well, once they get it together. Woo! Dusty. Am I boring you yet? Oh boy, I ain't gonna know how to how to react on that one. I can see through my helmet. All right. think we ought to do today guys as you can see the air didn't stay in all night I didn't even check for leaks yesterday but I put 35 pounds of air in it and left it set so that's Typical, I guess. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, get this raised back up, get the bags off of it. I'm going to go ahead and start welding all this up. Get it all welded up and uh, uh, let's see. I want to do the bump stop thing on the side. Everything looks like it's going to work nice, so I'm just going to weld it up, and then I would like to get that bed back on here so I can get that floor raised. I'd like to see that setting on here, and air it up and down see how it looks with the the body yeah 
All right, well, I'm going to probably go ahead and get them bags unbolted and then I'll lift it up, get that out of the way. I gotta move them holes forward one inch. I think I'm gonna change this because it's too much of a pain in the butt to get to that front bolt. I think I'll put a gusset right here and here on both of them. That way the top of the plate is all open. I think that'll work a little bit better for me. Uh, other than that, I think everything is good to go. Is it Monday, guys? Oh, come on. Yes, I popped right out. Well then. Hmm. this is another way. We'll pop it off back here. Maybe. There we go. It's Monday. It's gotta be Monday. Fighting with changing that liner this morning, and now this is starting to. I'm just ready to throw my helmet on and go, man. Gonna get my steps in today. Back and forth. Well, this video will go out after Busted Radial's live giveaway. Uh, leave me a comment if you want anything on there. Let me know what you got. It'd be interesting to see what everybody got from there.
I think that ought to be high enough. Where there's a will. There's a way. Yeah, I think, uh, well, come on, get out of my boot. I think where the line went in the other bag might have been where it was leaking. It was a quick install just to see how things were going to work. <clears throat> and they worked fine. Okay. Uh, where do I put these? I think I'll set them in the chill trailer over here for now because it's going to be a minute before they go back in. Set this other trader in there too. Okay. <clears throat> well, I think what I need to do first is get me some brackets made to go here. And then I think I need to move them holes over one inch get that done uh, 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 uh. Hmm. will that fit in there no Prop this up because that floor jack sucks and I don't want it coming down on me.
guys. I know that was a lot of time lapse, but I didn't want to keep stopping and checking the camera. I still had to, but well, the bump stops are nice. It keeps the bags from touching anything when it's all the way down before when it was resting on the bag. Even though the bag's got a bump stop in it, the bag come up and touched the bracket. I didn't like that. Move the bags forward. Now I got about an inch and a half in between the axle and the bags. Bump stops mounted. Everything's bogged up. With the bump, with it set flat on the bump stops right now, I have. Uh, I can't see. Four and three quarters of an inch to the bottom of the hitch. And so I raised it up, what, three quarters of an inch? That'll work. Now let's raise her up and see what she does. I do, I like that. All right. I know I'm gonna have to adjust these bars a little bit, but once I get the bed on it, get all the weight on it, then I'll set the pinion angle. You don't wanna do that without the weight on there because that changes everything. Uh, I gotta put my breather back in there. Rear end breather. Uh, still got a lot of cleanup back here, but it is what it is. It's been a long agitating day. I put that liner in the gun and I wasn't getting no gas. When I go to weld, it was like I didn't have any gas. So that took me an hour and a half to figure out what I did wrong. Put the nozzle on the wrong side of the liner. Doop! Idiot. It happens. All right, I like that. Okay. I'm going to set my tape right there. It's hooked there, hanging on there. I'm going to uh, go upload this video and clean up, get everything shut down. And I'm going to get out of here, but before I leave, I want to check that. See if it's dropped in that amount of time. All right. Well, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. You can watch me struggle some more, I guess. This has been a job. I was not expecting that. I mean, I was because I've never done it before, but man, it was more work than I thought it was going to be. I figured just ah, bag mounts, fab something up, be done. Watts link, I had no idea, but I figured it'd be fairly simple. Ended up putting that big drop bar on there, which all the videos I've seen, they've all got that because they have to stay square. Even with it down all the way, it's still up off the ground, so. Yeah, about five to six inches, I think. I was hoping to get that bed set back on it today, but that didn't happen. I got company coming in tomorrow. 
I just might have him help me set it on there. I took the air chisel and knocked them rivets off right there. I got to get up underneath and knock. Looks like, yep, two rivets underneath. And those brackets will be down and out of the way. That'll be fine. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to get out of here. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and all that stuff. <sighs> Share my videos. Get the word out there. I need to get this channel growed up a bit. All right, until tomorrow, have a good evening.